Time now for Sid 6-0. This is where I get 60 seconds to talk. Start the clock, please. Here's what's on my mind this morning. The first rule in soccer is run. Whatever the score, you got to run. This past weekend, one of the biggest teams in the world did not run. Manchester United, who currently sit dead last in the English Premier League, got beat by Brentford, a much smaller side, 4 nothing. But that scoreline wasn't the most shocking stat of the day. Brentford, as a team, ran 13.8 kilometers more than Manchester. And that did not sit well with manager Eric Ten Hag. The next day, which was supposed to be an off day, was anything but. Not only did he schedule practice, but he made each player run, wait for it, 13.8 kilometers. The distance Brentford outran them by the day before. I've never seen this club play this poorly. And I'm sure some players at this juncture in time would like to run to the hills rather than deal with the reality of being on a struggling Manchester United squad. James Sharman from the Parlay joining us. Sharman, it's great to see you. Look, you and I, we grew up watching Man U. Now, I know you're a Liverpool supporter, but I, so I have a different take. Beckham, Sir Alex Ferguson, Roy Keane, Cristiano Ronaldo, Wayne Rooney, some of the best teams you're ever going to see in Europe. And they hustled all the time. What are we watching with this team? This is bizarre. It really is, Sid. And you know that meme with the, the dumpster on fire floating down the river? That's what this club is yep. right now and what it's become. Ever since Alex Ferguson left, which is a decade ago now, don't forget, it's gone from bad to worse. Um, bad recruitment, bad management. Um, the owners, who are the Glazer family of North American sports fame, have come in and used it as their personal cash box. They're not investing in the stadium, in the academy. They'll sprinkle money on players, but it's been the wrong players so far. And, and with respect to your boy, Ronaldo, who, you know, is still arguably the best of all time, that was a poor move based purely on emotion and trying to get the fans on side. Didn't work out. So it's just been from top to bottom mismanagement. It, it's actually quite sad, even as a Liverpool fan. I wouldn't say it's sad. Okay, that's a stretch. <laughs> no, no. Sad's not the word. Because <laughs> you are giggling. Right, I, I think the Prem, the Prem <laughs> needs a good United, right? I, I think. But, like, baseball needs kind of a good Yankees team, right? That, that big, bad enemy, you know? The big, bad um, wolf, so to speak. So, yeah, uh, football somewhat suffered, and something must happen. And I think it comes from the very, very top, and then it can filter down. We got about a minute, Charms. Uh, the transfer window, for people who aren't familiar, you can buy and sell players up until September 1st in Europe. Cristiano Ronaldo has made it clear he wants to be anywhere but Manchester right now. It is an ugly scene. Apparently in the dressing room, he is far from a leader. I think, I think he needs to grow up. I think it's a ridiculous situation with a World Cup like four or five months away, whatever it is. What happens here between now and September 1st with Cristiano Ronaldo and Man U? They have to get rid of him somehow. Agreed. Um, I think he, he expected there to be a lineup of suitors. That hasn't happened. He carries a lot of baggage with him with that ego now, unfortunately. But he is a, a, the biggest symptom of what's wrong there right now on the field. Like you said, he, he's not a leader that we thought perhaps he was. He's a winner. He demands to play in winning teams. This is a rebuild. This is a strip it down to the studs and start again. That is not a place for Ronaldo. So he will move somewhere, whether it's back to Portugal, whether it's Atletico Madrid, whether it's Chelsea. Who knows? MLS might come calling, but it has to be somewhere. They have to get rid of him. And, and that's a really sad statement because he is – a wonderful footballer. He was wonderful for that team. And now I think his legacy is somewhat tarnished at Manchester United. Yeah, it, it is unfortunate. He was one of the greats in club history with good reason. I'm looking at it differently now. Uh, James Sharman, the parlay. Never a dull moment when it comes to footy. Appreciate you, brother.